Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Right now, I am about to go shopping. So in my last vlog, I showed some stuff that I had got from the store Marks while I was there last night and Graceland was with me. And there were so many things that she wanted to put on her Christmas list. I also saw so much good stuff for Hazel. So I was like, okay, I need to go back when I don't have the older girls with me and do some shopping because with marks if you don't get it like when you see it it's probably going to be gone the next time you're there so i asked my mom if she'd watch hazel i have isla with me and i'm going to eat first before i go because i'm so hungry i stopped and got panera so i love their teriyaki chicken bowl it's just teriyaki chicken I think there's rice with quinoa, maybe, and broccoli. Also my favorite soup, the broccoli cheddar soup. The cranberry charged apple lemonade. I have that sip club, it's like $11 a month and you get unlimited drinks. All right, so I am now at Mark's. Isla, of course, fell asleep on the way here. She was refusing to take a nap this morning, so she has not napped. It's almost 12.30, so I'm going to let her nap a little bit more. Probably like, I don't know, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, because I don't have too much time. All right, so this is one thing that I think they'll enjoy. It's this mini disco ball. And then I'm gonna get either this foosball. Grayson pointed at both of these. Oh, that's only $5.99, that mini ear hockey. Maybe I'll get both. Lots of Nerf gun type items. I don't know if I want to get this. I think I'm actually going to get this because it comes with two so that the girls can both play with each other. And it has these balls instead of the little darts. I feel like those get lost so easily. They have these rainbow corn surprises. I think I'm going to get Hazel one of these kitty ones. Lots of board games, and they love board games. I think I want to get this one because I think Hazel. I think Hazel would like this. It's more for smaller kids. These are fun down here for Graceland. They have these bracelet making kits for two ninety nine. I just don't know which one. I think this one. Okay, they have these huge activity like sticker marker all of that stuff $13.99 I think I'm gonna get both of them one of these when I was here yesterday they had like five of these and now they only have one left it's a cute little le letters for Santa mailbox it's $1.99 is this a sign that I should get it I don't know I just feel like I need this it's so cute I'm gonna get it they can write little letters and put them in here every year. Some candy for stocking stuffers. Little chocolate Santas. I always get them these little candy canes. I'll get Hazel M&M's. I think she likes them better. Or wait, they're little Hershey's chocolates. Cute little Peppa Pig puzzles in this tin that you can put it back and do. They have these easels right here for $19.99. We don't need these, but it's a pretty good deal. And there's some Barbie color reveal stuff too. They do not need any more hats or gloves, but these are so cute and it's a really good deal. $5.99 for the hat and these looks like waterproof gloves. They also have these wild fable shirts. I'm not exactly sure if these are woman sizing but this medium one would fit Graceland it's a cute little blue crew neck for $4.99 so I think I'm gonna get this for her what are you doing little girl I think I'm gonna get a pack of these bibs because they're washable $2.49 for two of them and I got rid of all the bibs all right I think we're all done I had to pick up my mom a gallon of milk now we're gonna go check out. Okay, I am home now. That was a pretty successful trip to Mark's. I feel like I got half of the girls' Christmas shopping done while I was there, so that's awesome. It was also super affordable. 
putting this tray on to see how it looks. Cute, it's cute, I like it. These are two of my Marks finds that are originally from Hearth and Hand. All right, I'm gonna do a haul of all the stuff I got from Marks. I'm so happy right now because just the other day I was like, oh my gosh, it's almost December. I showed some of this stuff in the store, but for both of them, I got this huge activity collection, Disney Princess. These were $13.99 each, so it just has so much fun stuff that they can do throughout the cold, boring winter months. I love to get stuff like this that will last them a while because they do just get so bored when we're just cooped up in the house during the winter time. I was originally going to get just Graceland on this, but Hazel loves bracelets too. I'll just have to help her obviously a little bit more with this because it is for older kids. Bracelet making kits. So I got two different kinds and these were $2.99 each. I also got them these Peppa Pig puzzles. They're in these like metal tins and I love this because you can put the puzzle right back in it. It's a storage spot for it, which is a huge plus. So these were $2.99 each. I just got two different like prints. This is going to be gifted to the both of them just because there's two in here for them to play with. So like I had shown, it's these blast poppers it's called and it has the little balls. I feel like these also aren't as like intense and violent as the darts are. <laughs> So it says it shoots up to 30 feet, and this was $9.99. This is also going to be a shared gift. It's just gonna be for them to use either like in their play area or whatever it would be. But they love to dance and sing and have little parties and dance parties, so I thought this was perfect. It's this mini disco ball. This was $7.99, $7.99, a little bit pricey for this tiny little thing. Like I showed, they had all these cool games that were very inexpensive. I ended up getting both just because of how cheap they were. Once again, this is something for us to do during the winter time. So I got the air hockey tabletop. This was $5.99, $5.99. That is crazy. And then I got the foosball one and this was $9.99. Like I showed, they had these crew necks from Wild Fable. I feel like these are meant to be juniors. They're like cropped, but the size small, I actually ended up getting a small for Graceland, is going to fit her perfectly. So it's just this blue crew neck. The sleeves might be a little bit long, but she can just roll them and that was $4.99. And then I got Graceland this Barbie set. Look at how cute the little stroller is. She is such a baby lover, so I thought that she would like this. This was $19.99, a little bit pricier, but these Barbie sets are always so pricey. Hazel, I got the rainbow corn surprise. It has some sort of like kitty cat surprise with a bunch of other junk in here. <laughs> and then I got this barrel of monkeys. This brings back so many memories from specifically preschool. I remember, I have memories of playing with the barrel of monkeys in preschool and they're just so fun. So this was $2.99, I thought she would like those. And then she loves little tiny toys. She's obsessed with mini, mini brands and just tiny little cute toys like that. She loves to play with little figures and stuff. So I found this Baby Alive Minis Potty. It's a fairy baby and you put her on her potty and she has a bottle. It's also encouraging, you know, potty time. So <laughs> I thought this was a good toy for her. It was $4.99. This one's more so just for Hazel. I mean, we can all play it. I think the age that it's geared towards is more her age. So it is the bed bugs game. And like I said, the critters just like jump around in this bed and you have to pluck them up as fast as you can. One of Isla's gifts I got, my first drum. She needs more, I guess like interactive toys that she can use her hands with. And she's gonna be one in three months. I don't even know how that happened, but she just needs more toys geared towards like a one-year-old. This was $3.99. I used to have like a drum set, a music set, but I think I had donated it a couple years back. I did show these bibs. It's from The Neat Solutions. I think they do sell these at Target, so it's two 
washable bibs with a pocket for $2.49 that I just got her because she needs bibs now that she's eating more finger foods and stuff like that she's making a lot more messes i did show the stocking stuffers i got each of the big girls the candy canes with the chocolate in them and then each a i think this is a chocolate yeah a hollow chocolate santa so i gotta be careful with these i did end up getting this letter to santa because i felt like it was a sign there was one left and it's only it was only 199 and this is just so darn cute Look at that, it is just so cute. Each year they can write their little letters and stick them in there. And you know, Santa's little elves will come and take them from our house when they are sleeping. This I was so excited about because it was on my list of things to get. I just wanted to find one for a good deal. And I'm so happy I found it because these are normally like 15, $20 on Amazon or at any other store I've been to, they're like $9.99. They're never less than $10, that's what I'm trying to get at. Found one for $3.99. This is not all that they are going to get. There's a couple different things they have on their Christmas list that they didn't have at Mark's or that I think it's just some things that I think that they would like. Like specifically, I want to get them a nugget couch or maybe like an off-brand. I'm not sure if I can bring myself to spend that much money on a kid's couch but i definitely want to get them something like that because i think they would really enjoy it and then just some other little things like i said that they have on their list okay i'm gonna put my little letters to santa box right here on this ledge i think that's a good spot for it graceland's teacher just texted that tomorrow they get pajama day so i need to write this down so that i do not forget I'm also gonna put a reminder in my phone and set an alarm. Listen, I'm a little bit traumatized from one time last year where I didn't get the paper that it was pajama day and the email that they had for me was like an email that I didn't really ever go on and she totally missed pajama day. And I just, I felt like so sad about it. I felt so sad for her and I had no idea until she got home from school. So ever since then, I'm, I check my email every single day. <laughs> and also her teacher has like a text reminder thing, which is perfect. It's great, especially for parents like me who sometimes just don't check my email that often. So whenever I get these reminders or I see that something's gonna happen, I set like four reminders for myself. I write it on the board. I write it on the fridge. I set a reminder on my phone. I put it in my notes on my to-do list. I set an alarm and I put, you know, remember pajamas because I can't have that happen again. <laughs> that was just, it was, it was really heartbreaking. So it is the next day. Just got home from shopping. You got it, honey? Okay. I think she went on the porch. I am so tired. So I made a nice hot coffee. The girls are playing outside right now. We just got home from picking up Grace from school. It's officially Thanksgiving break. I don't have to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning for the rest of this week, which is gonna be great. Me and my sister Emily went to a couple different bargain stores that we've been wanting to go to. I found these Levi jeans for $3.50 brand new and they fit so good. I always thought it was super cringy that people wore like band shirts when they don't actually really listen to them, but we live on a floating rock, so I really don't care now. This was also, I think it was $3. And then I found this bra from the brand Auden, I think, from Target. So it's originally 15 and I got it for five. This is super soft and it's stretchy and it has no wire. I only have one bra right now that fits me. And then we went to this other bargain store. I love the Contigo water bottles for the girls. These are originally like $15, $20, especially the insulated ones. These keep the water cold for a long time and they were $4.99. So I got two of those. Graceland still needs some long sleeves. So they have these Cat and Jack brand new with the tags. They were three fifty. dollars so I got her this really soft, stretchy tie-dye one. And then this is like a waffle knit, I think is what it's called. It's like light pink. It's 
Cat and Jack again. This is my designated watching rocking chair. Am I an old lady or? I sit in this chair and I rock in it and I watch them play. So, for the rest of this day, I have been raking leaves, leaf blowing leaves. I mowed the grass. Patrick actually ended up mowing one side, I mowed the other because I made the lawnmower smoke somehow. And then he woke up and he came to look at it for me. And then he just ended up mowing the rest. I just cleaned up our front yard basically. Got all these leaves out of the front yard. It took forever, so time consuming. My back is going to be screaming tonight in pain, but I got it done. The backyard, whole different story. Probably not gonna do that until spring, if I'm being honest. I just ran to Starbucks. Like I said, I've been outside. It's a beautiful day today. It's like 50s, mid 50s. I think it's a chestnut praline. I think that's what that is. I wanted the... Um, the crunch one I can't remember what it's called like caramel something crunch caramel ribbon crunch maybe but they were all out of it I started decorating a little bit more I'm hoping I can finish before the sun sets it sets in like an hour obviously there was leaves everywhere and look at how much better our yard looks now same for the front yard so much better All right, I just finished, it's dark outside now. Look at how cute. I kinda wanna go back and see if they have another one. I accidentally broke one of those snowflakes, so rest in peace, but I don't really care. I'm just gonna keep them up. Those flicker, put some lights on the tree, not too high up, cause I don't feel like going that high. You can't really see too well, but I put the bows on the pole right here, and then, yeah, you can't see them. The candy canes going up the walkway. The two new trees that I got. Porch. I also put lights up here. And they just all connect to the garland. And I have the red ribbons up here too that I hung. It's really hard to see the red ribbon at night, but they're so pretty. I also hung these ornaments on this tree. I do want to get some lights to hang on this tree, but some of our lights from last year are broke, so I'm just gonna have to get some new ones. Yeah, I just spent the last like four hours of my life outside, <laughs> but it was well worth it because now the house is all decorated for Christmas. We're not gonna do lights on the roof this year just because the ones from last year broke and it's just like too much work to hang them on the roof. So, you know, I think the house looks good with the lights we have and I think the girls are gonna be super excited when they see you. 